Welcome to What's New in Burbank. If there's a tree and children's bicycles congregating on the steps of Burbank City Hall, it can only mean that the Burbank Bike Angels are one step closer to putting a smile on scores of children's faces this holiday season. Merry Christmas! The year-round volunteers of the Burbank Bike Angels have been doing this for seven years, restoring used bicycles for less fortunate kids in the community. Of the nearly 200 bikes this holiday season, more than half will be distributed through the Burbank Salvation Army, while the others will go to six additional Burbank nonprofits. Because of your diligent work and your community support and your heart for others, that we're able to give back to Burbank and the surrounding communities. Katie has been a part of it since she's uh, five or six years old, <laughs> helping pump up tires and. Uh, Tell me what needs to be repaired on the bikes, and I'm it's uh, painting. Yep. And she's uh, she's even donated a couple of her bikes that she's outgrown over the years. Yeah. And Katie has a very important position. She's one of our test riders on the junior yeah. bikes. Since 2009, the Burbank Bike Angels have given away more than a thousand children's bicycles. Burbank's entry in the Tournament of Roses parade is beginning to take shape. The Burbank Channel recently got a sneak peek at the float during a photo session featuring the city's mayor, Bob Frutos, and other city executives. This year's parade theme is Find Your Adventure, and that's exactly what this family of raccoons is doing on the Burbank float titled, Are We There Yet? The float features the raccoon family on a vacation in a classic wood-paneled station wagon towing a teardrop trailer. The Burbank Tournament of Roses Association, or BTORA, is looking for volunteers to help decorate, leading up to the New Year's Day parade that is seen around the world. If you're interested in volunteering, contact BTORA at 818-840-0060. There was plenty of holiday delight at the mayor's annual tree lighting ceremony held on the front steps of City Hall Saturday, December 5th. The RC Dance Center Kickettes, performing a dance number to Winter Wonderland, kicked off this festive event. John Burroughs High School Vocal Music Association Muses, the Generation DCD Mini Muffins, and Mickey and Minnie helped boost the holiday mood as the crowd anxiously awaited Santa's arrival. After Santa and Mrs. Claus joined the fun, they helped Mayor Bob Frutos and the audience raise the holiday cheer and light the tree. If you missed this annual event, you can catch the Mayor's Tree Lighting Ceremony as it replays on the Burbank Channel or watch it anytime on demand on the city's website, burbankca.gov. Here's a fun little time-lapse shot from the roof of Burbank City Hall last year as they set up the rink in downtown Burbank. Well, the rink has returned and will be open for some family fun during the holiday season from Thursday, December 10th to Sunday, January 3rd. Lots of special events are being planned, including weekly skating classes with Pickwick Ice Rink instructors Saturdays at 9 a.m. So drop by the rink in downtown Burbank at the corner of North 3rd Street and East Orange Grove Avenue, right behind Burbank City Hall. Admission is $10, skate rentals are $4, and Bobby the Seal rentals are $6. The rink is open Sunday through Thursday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Friday and Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. For a closer look at ice rink activities and more information on downtown Burbank holiday fun, log on to dtnbur.com. The Burbank Housing Authority will be accepting new applications for the Section 8 Rental Assistance Program beginning Monday, January 11th through Monday, February 8th, 2016. This program provides rental assistance to very low income renters. Starting January 11th, you can pick up Section 8 applications at the following City of Burbank locations. The Jocelyn Adult Center, Olive Recreation Center, Verdugo Park, McCambridge Park, Overham Community Center, Burbank Central Library, Buena Vista Branch Library, and the Northwest Branch Library. For more information on the Section 8 Rental Assistance Program or to apply online, visit burbankca.gov slash housing news. On Tuesday, December 1st, the Burbank Parks and Recreation Department held a reception 
for the Burbank Arts Beautification Program at the Colony Theater. This program is a project of the Burbank Cultural Arts Commission and commissioned artists to paint seven city utility boxes with decorative art. The artists were chosen in early September and started painting the boxes soon thereafter. Several of the artists were on hand at the event to receive recognition as well as talk about their process. I started out with the, with the drawing and then, um, then I enlarged it and to accommodate the different angles, sizes, and uh, the back was a challenge because of the grooves. So uh, that took a while to paint. I totally enjoyed it. You can learn more about the program and where you can see the finished boxes by visiting burbankca.gov slash just imagine. Forecasters predict El Nino will bring intense storms and heavy rains this winter. The cities of Burbank, Glendale, and Pasadena have created this website, elninoready.org, to provide important safety and emergency preparedness information. When stacking the sandbags, stack them tightly to limit any gaps. Once there, you can sign up to receive emergency notifications, learn how to create a family emergency plan, and pick up tips to survive a variety of urgent situations. No family disaster plan is complete without including your pets and all of your animals. ElNinoReady.org will also provide a link to follow the Verdugo Alert Twitter account so you can be alerted to significant emergencies in all three cities. The time to prepare for an emergency is before it happens. ElNinoReady.org will help you do just that. The Colony Theater has announced its 41st season featuring five shows including a star-powered world premiere. The Colony, located in the Burbank Town Center, has produced award-winning live theater for more than four decades. The new season kicks off July 25th with the West Coast premiere of The Fabulous Lipitones. This acclaimed play with music is followed by a true story drama about segregation in the South called The Best of Enemies, opening in September. In November, the colony presents the California premiere of Humble Boy. And after the new year, two world premieres, the new musical Another Roll of the Dice in February, and in April, legendary actress Patty Duke becomes Mary Lincoln, sharing stories and memories as the wife of Abraham Lincoln. For information on all these plays and how you can purchase season tickets, visit colonytheater.org. I'm Peter Masurlian, and this has been What's New in Burbank. <laughs>